Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers Where today We're going to be looking at the industrial overhaul mod Now for those who are watching my current survival series This is the main mod I'm using in that one So this is this changes most of the production side of uh, Space Engineers and uh, a lot of people wanted to see what it was like and a bit of a tutorial on how to use it because they were interested in it. So this will be a three part series, like a mini series basically just showing we're going to start off with today the actual um, ore processing. Um, but then I also want to show some of the manufacturing and I also want to show some of the oil side of it because that's kind of in its own little category. So yeah. If you think you'd like or will enjoy this video, consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm aiming to get to 1000 subscribers at some point soon, so uh, yeah, if you subscribe you'll help me out a lot. Anyway, also uh, link down below for my uh, Discord if you want to join that. I've been meaning to say that quite a bit but I keep forgetting so yeah, that's that. Without further ado, let's get on to today's video. Alright. So, we have a range of setups right here. So this is just some test rigs. And basically, with this industrial overhaul mod, you can either smelt stuff into refineries, or smelters, or you can like crush them and then smelt them or you can crush them enrich them and then smelt them now there is a reason you want to do that and that, the main reason is you know how there's normally modules like power efficiency yield and speed yeah they don't exist anymore there are no longer modules so yeah they got removed with a mod so we have this instead and essentially what I've done is I've added every single ore to every single one of these boxes. However, you'll notice there are two per like category setup test. And that's for one important reason. In this mod, the smelter is not better than the refinery. And the refinery is not better than the smelter. They have their own purposes. No matter what stage you are in using these two machines, you'll always have to use one of them at some point. And that's for one very important reason. If I search refinery and have a look here, the refinery smelts titanium, uh, it can do coal, it can do silver, gold, platinum, and talus, had, had to them. Well, I don't even know how you say that. It also smokes is the most efficient way of smelting or turning stone into the other resources. If you look at the smelter, it smelts scrap metal, silicon, iron, copper, nickel, and cobalt. You can see they don't cross over. They they have their own things that they smelt. Now for this test, we're not going to be testing the stone, and we are not going to be testing uh, coal or scrap metal for pure fact they can't be in they can't be crushed and enriched so you know quite simple but yeah uh, another important thing that you're gonna want to use when you use this mod is definitely you want to have sorters sorters will uh, ensure you're putting through things in the right way so in this case i have put sorters on there we go put sources on just accepting the resources I want to have and throughout this entire thing so after each stage it has sorters which try to pull out the crushed version and then the enriched as, as we go along but yeah without further ado let's turn on all the machines by turning on all the sorters and there we go So, one thing about having a higher yield, so these resources are going straight into these boxes. You can see it's making all that stuff. But these ones, there's not as much. Not as much. 
Not as much. But we'll get less because there's more and more stages for it to do stuff in. And, uh, yeah. I... One thing I did want to check. So this is a little coal power plant I made, just a sim simple thing. And if I look at the turbines, I just want to make sure we're not... Oh, we're doing fine on power. We're only using a couple of megawatts, that's fine. All right. So I'm going to let all of this grind up. So this is all the 1k tests. And this is actually going to take a lot longer than I was expecting to do. It's going to have to go through all of it. Oh boy. Did I think this one through? <laughs> Actually, whilst we're, whilst we're waiting, there's another thing I wanted to say. So, quite simply, this going into smelter or whatever, refinery, or whatever, resource going straight in, refined as about as efficient as you can get. For these processes, the enrichers and the crushers are actually quite slow. So, in an actual, this is just a test rig, just, you know, nice and simple, but in an actual sort of like build, you probably want two to three of these. Same with the actual enrichers. You probably want two or three of them for like a one or two um, refineries or smelters or that. You know what I mean. Just you want more machines to do it. They'll do it a lot faster and it'll be a lot better. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this to refine. I'll be back to show the results of uh, what each stage does, I guess. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. And the smelting slash crushing slash purifying has been completed. So let's have a look. Now, well, of course I've been here watching it. I have found something interesting. You, well, you can see in all of these boxes, there's some left. Now this is the stuff that the uh, thing at, that the smelter slash refinery crowd actually uh, produce and that was blocked by the filter did it on purpose but if you look in here there is something in here what could that be and if i look at the crusher in two of the crushers we have crushed platinum ore now this happens to be this particular machine here and uh this machine here now apparently you can crush platinum, but you can't smelt crushed platinum. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but yeah, that's the thing. Um, so we, I guess in the results, you're not going to have uh, platinum. If you want to smelt platinum, you have to just do it the old fashioned way. Put it straight in a refinery. But here's our results. So 700 silicon, 800 copper, six up. Uh, yeah, 600 nickel, 400 cobalt, 700 iron. Uh-huh. I wanted to compare that to this particular one. That's a very odd amount. Uh, 1,000 and... What would that be? Like 1,005? 1,050? Like that. It's about 1k. Now, I believe that they're actually so from this stage to this stage, it is one and a half times, which uh, seems to work out roughly right. 800 aluminium, 10 talisman. So if that's like 15, yeah, yeah, it works out. So from that state, to, so smelting it gets you, let's say, let's say that's one, that's our control variable. Then here it's one and a half times. So what does this, what does it make this one? Two times. Okay. Nice linear upgrade. So this, just smelting raw, you get a little bit less depending on whatever resource you're smelting. If you then add a crusher, 
you get one and a half times your base amount that you would get. And then if you add a crusher and a purifier, you will get your two times. Apart from platinum. Platinum, you can only get your base amount. Well, at least we uh, now know that information. So, yeah. And that's what I wanted to share. It shows, yeah, that's how this bit works. So if you're interested in this mod and want to uh, see further all the other different stages, because there are a lot of blocks. All these production wire looms, furnaces, fabricators, mod compatible assemblers, synthetic factories, auto looms, rock. Well, that's the rock crushers, the nano assemblers, munitions factory advanced, chemical refined. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. So, if you want to see all that, make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications on because these videos should be out fairly soon. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a wee like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i have been quantum chief and i'll see you all in the next video bye mm -hmm.